For lithium phosphide, we have lithium on the periodic table, that's Li, and phosphide, that's the phosphorus atom. We put a P for that right there. So lithium, that's a metal, and the phosphide, the phosphorus here, that's a nonmetal. So a metal and a nonmetal, that gives us an ionic compound, and we need to balance the charges to make the net charge zero. So lithium, we look and see that that's plus one, and then phosphorus, that's a minus three. So these charges aren't balanced. What we can do is we can change the subscript here so that we balance the charges. So if I put a three right here, three times plus one, that gives me a plus three, and that'll cancel out the minus three, give me a net charge of zero, and that would be the correct formula for lithium phosphide, Li3P. We can quickly check our work using what's called the crisscross method. So we take the three on the phosphorus, we cross it down here, and we take the one on the lithium, we put it right here, but we don't really need to write one, so let's get rid of that, and let's get rid of the charges. And we have the same result, Li3P, as the formula for lithium phosphide. So that's it, lithium phosphide, Li3P. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.